Hugh, you had your first sit on Marmelo this morning for this year's Spring Carnival. What was your take on it? Look, uh, it's great to see him back. He looks very well. I feel he's a little bit stronger this year than he was last year. Um, he didn't go out to do a great deal this morning. It was good to work with some company because I think both horses might have actually benefited by having a mate. And Yeah, we went to the line uh, yeah, with plenty in hand and yeah, he seems to have travelled over well and feels good. You know the horse, of course, you rode him uh, this time last year in a couple of races. Can you compare the way he's going, just on the ones that you've had, to back then? Uh, look, it's a bit difficult to really know exactly, but he feels very well, he looks well, and really that's all I can go by. I mean, he's had a great season in, in England and France, and um, yeah, his form's been very consistent since he raced here last year, and they've obviously had this race in mind for the entire season. I would imagine, so um, the fact that he's travelled over and raced very well in the Caulfield Cup last year, they've um, changed their program a little bit this year to just have go straight to the Melbourne Cup, which was Huey Morrison's plan, or that was his idea last year, but uh, the connections felt as though it might be better to have a run, and he did run very well, as you know, in the Caulfield Cup, so um, with the benefit of, of experience, uh, straight to the Melbourne Cup this year, and uh, I'd imagine he will race well on what I felt this morning. Have you been able to speak to Huey Morrison and, and that team um, in regards to the, their confidence maybe going forward? Not really. From your perspective, have you been booked to ride Marmelo in the Melbourne Cup or not at this stage? Not at this stage. I'll ride Finch in the Geelong Cup this afternoon. Uh, he'd have to win and get a penalty for, for me to ride him. But yeah, there's a little bit of water to go under the bridge. But um, you know, the Cliffs of Mohar is another possibility. I'm not sure if I'll be offered that ride. Uh, maybe Ryan Moore will come and ride him, I just don't know. So we'll um, canvas our options and see what we come up with.